Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to my workshop. Come on in. I'm going to show you today how to install a knife magnet for your kitchen knives. I'm Nathan from Knifeware, and we're pretty crazy about Japanese kitchen knives. These knife magnets are handy little guys. You got a big collection of kitchen knives like many of us do at Knifeware. Uh, it's a really great way to store your knives safely so that they don't get damaged, as well as display them. Japanese knives are quite beautiful, and so it's nice to be able to show them off to yourself and, you know, any guests that you have at home. That said, not everybody is confident or familiar with the skills required to install one of these guys, but guess what? It's not very hard. So I'm going to show you a little bit about these magnets and why they're great. I'm going to teach you how to install them on drywall and on tile and uh, show you how to use knives on them properly. As I said earlier, we love these magnets because they're a great way to store your knives so they're not clattering around in a drawer and getting damaged or chipped. It's a little more convenient than storing them in a knife roll. And you know, those countertop blocks are great, but some of us don't have a ton of counter space. And to me, it's kind of a shame to store my beautiful knives all tucked away in a drawer or in a block. So this magnet, just hanging up on the wall, beautiful way to display your knives. The knife magnets that we carry are from Bowgrain. They're made in Quebec, Canada, so they're a locally made product. Uh, Guillaume uses a beautiful variety of woods and it, they come in two different sizes. The little guy is 11 and a half inches. Uh, it's good for storing four knives or so, maybe five if you've got a slimmer petty knife. The big guys, uh, 15 and a half inches. Uh, really nice for storing, I don't know, six, seven knives or so. Uh, that's what I do at home and it, it works out really nicely. I've actually got one of each on my wall and they look really nice together with kind of mismatched woods. Speaking of which, they do come in three colors. There is, of course, the beautiful dark walnut, my favorite, maple, and cherry, my two favorite flavors of ice cream. You can choose whatever shade of wood is gonna work best for your kitchen. Maybe you want something a little more textured and burled like the walnut or the cherry. Maybe something a little more plain like the maple. Just go with whatever is gonna look best to you, whatever makes you happy. So we're gonna start by installing this bad boy onto some drywall. This is a situation I suspect many of you are gonna have at home and probably gonna be the most useful to you. We will get into tile later as well. So the gear you're gonna need for this job is the magnet block itself, a handy dandy level so you can make sure that it looks great, and some kind of screwdriver. I'm using an impact driver here, but uh, you can use an old fashioned analog screwdriver too if you prefer. I also find a flathead screwdriver really handy, or in this case my multi-tool, because you're gonna wanna get the bar out of the back of the knife magnet. And this guy is stuck in there pretty well. And a quick safety tip, be very careful to keep your fingers clear around this bar because the magnets in here are very strong. They're rare earth magnets. They're designed to hold your knives up all day long and they're really gonna pull this bar in aggressively if you get too close. Bowgrain also includes two of these really nice uh, wall dog screws. They're, they've kind of got like a built-in anchor, so they're perfect for using on your drywall. First, we wanna start by clearing the area of any hazards or things that we might not wanna get drywall dust on, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna tidy up this space really quick. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so our workspace is nice and clear. Now we're ready to mount our knife magnet. We're gonna start by figuring out exactly where we want it to be. What's gonna look most visually appealing to us? Uh, I was thinking I wanted to go uh, kind of off center of the guitar magnet that I've got up here and relatively centered top to bottom. Um, I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna measure it out, but I am gonna just spend some time eyeballing it to make sure it's where I find it most visually appealing. And just as a reference, I'm gonna take a couple pieces of masking tape and just mark the ends of my knife magnet. So I know roughly where to place the bar on the wall. So we've got our bar. We wanna make sure the larger holes are facing outwards. The smaller holes are where it's gonna lock onto the wall there. So we're gonna center it with this masking tape. Again, I'm not worried about being too precise. We're just installing this in our YouTube studio. If you're doing this at home, you might wanna take a little more time with a measuring tape. Uh, but now we're just gonna make sure we level this guy out. Okay, so our bar's looking nice and level. We've got our Phillips head bit in the uh, impact driver there. We're gonna load on our first screw. Line her up here. And there we go, that's not going anywhere. Now that did move the bar slightly, so I'm just gonna make sure I re-level it. There we go and now we can drive our second screw in. And again, the great thing about these screws is you don't need to use any drywall anchors, which I would normally be using here. There we go, our bar is now mounted and it's level, everything we want it to be. So, at this point we can simply pull our tape away, get rid of our level, and pop our magnet up there. It's that easy. Again, the magnets in the sky are gonna hold it in place, but because it's attached magnetically, 
It's not really gonna put any undue stress on that drywall the way that some other brands of knife magnets can. All right, our set's looking good. We got a little room for growth here. We got some space to add another knife. The most important thing is when you're using these knife magnets, there's a particular way to use them to protect your knives, to protect your wall, and to protect the magnet. You wanna make sure you put them on spine first. Remember, storage, when it comes to knives, is all about protecting the edge and protecting you. You don't want this edge running into the magnet, and so you even wanna be careful putting it on like that because the edge can run into the wood and chip. Stainless steel knife magnets are much more of a culprit for this. The wood is softer, but it can still damage your knife. So, spine first, you don't need to worry about that part of the knife, and then just gently turn it onto the strip as well. Now, when you're taking it off, you don't wanna just grab it and pull it off because that will stress the magnet, and over time, it might loosen the mount on the drywall. You also don't wanna slide it down because if you have a really pretty knife like this, it can really scratch up the surface and it's gonna start looking really sad. So what you wanna do is just roll it back up onto the spine and pull it away like so. For that reason, you wanna make sure you're not storing your knives too close together. If you find your knives are really cramped on the magnet, might be time to get a second magnet. So just make sure they have lots of space and you just put them on gently. Now, if you have tile in your kitchen, you might be a little bit nervous and afraid because it's not gonna be quite as simple as what I just did. Well, let's throw it to Nathan in the past and he's gonna show you how to install magnets in his home kitchen. Hi, MTV, welcome to my kitchen. Past Nathan here, and I'm gonna show you how I installed this knife magnet on my tile wall. Now, when I first moved into this house, like many people, I was afraid to drill into the tile. I didn't wanna to have to get a hammer drill and a masonry bit, which I didn't have. I didn't want to potentially destroy the tile, or at very best, leave some permanent holes in it if I decide to move the magnet later on or sell the house. Luckily, I was able to come up with a much simpler solution, which I'm going to show you now. Don't get me wrong, you can totally drill into tile, and it's definitely a much more permanent, long-lasting solution, but this is going to be easier, cheaper, and probably the way that most folks want to go. So you want to start with your knife magnet, obviously. I've got a nice long walnut one here. You need some paper towel, some isopropyl alcohol, and the magic ingredient, double-sided tape. Now this isn't any old double-sided tape. This is heavy-duty stuff meant for hanging things on walls. I don't know that I would necessarily trust this on drywall when I've got a layer of paint over top to hold my knives, but it is fantastic for sticking things to tile. Now I've got the Gorilla brand here. Great brand, seems to work well. This stuff carries about a pound per inch of tape and that seems about good to me. It's also narrow enough that I can get two strips on the back of the knife magnet and get some extra hold there. Now in the past I used 3M brand, that seemed to work fine, uh, and I'm sure any other brand you can find at the hardware store work, works great too. This is just what was at the store when I went. Now there is one mistake that you can make doing this, and I'm gonna show you how to avoid that, because I actually installed this same magnet about six months ago, and it started to come off the wall, nothing serious, but I ended up having to scrape up the old tape clean off the magnet and start again, which is why I'm showing you this installation. So let's get into it. So for starters, get a bit of the isopropyl alcohol on the back of a paper towel and clean off the back of your knife magnet very thoroughly. You want it very clean so that the tape is sticking to the actual wood and not anything on the surface. You also need to make sure you clean off the tile for the same reason. I would give it a quick scrub with some soap and water, let it dry thoroughly, and then wipe it down generously with isopropyl alcohol. Give the alcohol an hour or so to dry, just to be extra safe. In the meantime, you can moisturize the front side of the knife magnet with some knife or board wax. Just be sure not to moisturize the back side. Now, the first time I installed this, I had slathered my whole knife magnet in board wax, as I would the cutting board, top, bottom, sides, everything. That was before I knew I was gonna be taping it to the wall. The resulting oil made it very difficult to stick the tape. I did manage to get it dried off with some isopropyl alcohol and get it mounted on my wall, but the result was that some of that oil leached out, made the tape come off of the wood, and the knife magnet started to come loose from the wall. By keeping the back of the magnet really dry, you can hopefully secure a more permanent hold onto the wall. Now that everything's nice and dry, roll out your tape on the back of the magnet and try to get it as close to the side of the magnet as possible. The goal here is to be able to fit two strips of tape on the back of the knife magnet. Using a sharp knife, not your kitchen knife maybe, I'm using my pocket knife here, cut off the end of the tape and apply a second strip. I noticed this kind of tape has a bit of trouble sticking to wood, so give it a really good press down, work out any air bubbles or wrinkles, and then let it hang out for an hour or so, just to make sure that tape is really stuck onto that wood. Before removing the back side of the tape, do a test fit. Check where you want to put it on your wall. Maybe have somebody else hold it up so you can get a good look at it and make sure that's exactly where you want it to go. This stuff is a pain in the ass to get off. When you're ready to go, peel the backside off the double-sided tape 
line it up carefully a centimeter or so away from the wall and give it a really nice good stick. Apply some pressure to the board for a minute or two and then just let it hang out for another hour to make sure it adheres. I find this tape doesn't have any trouble sticking to tile, but because I'm going to be pulling my knives off of the board and that can obviously pull the magnet away from the wall, you want to make sure it's really stuck on there before you start pulling your knives off or even putting them on. Once everything's good to go, you can load up your knives. You can see I've got uh, four Gutos here and a few of my other kitchen knives. I might have a bit of a Guto problem, but it is my favorite shape after all. And I've even got a little bit of extra space left over for a few more knives to be added to my collection. I had a couple of different knife magnets. This is my old one and this one came with the house. And so I decided to do a bit of a, an offset look. I like the way it looks, uh, but you can obviously do whatever's gonna work best in your kitchen. Uh, you can mount them vertically, but I find sometimes the knives can slide downwards. So horizontal, like so, is best. I hope that helps. Good luck, and back to you future Nathan. Hopefully you're now well equipped to mount your magnets on your wall, whether it's tile or drywall. Again, drilling into tile just isn't necessary. Uh, I find the tape solution works really, really well, uh, and it looks great. No problems if you want to sell your house or move your magnet later on. If you need one of these magnets, you can find them at knifeware.com or in all of our knifeware stores. Uh, if you need help finding knives to put on the magnet, check out this video I did a while back about choosing the right knife. 